I want to tell you a story. Um, I've told this story, but I've, I've told this story before. Um, it's about gaslighting. So this woman, this woman shared this story with some of us. She went into the, her doctors, she went into her psychiatrist, Nor normal people don't believe that this kind of thing is happening to people. Normal people don't believe vulnerable patients are being lied to, gaslighted, psychologically abused. And I don't at all mean, I don't at all mean us against them. I don't at all mean patients against doctors or psychiatrists or physicians. Honestly, I think that division, that us against them mentality, I honestly think that was created by physicians, not by patients. And when I tell stories like this, I don't mean that all doctors are like this. I don't know how many doctors are like this. Not all bad doc, not all doctors or physicians are bad and lie and gaslight. I've seen so much, so much of this. So this, this woman goes in uh, to her psychiatrist and she's, you know, pretty redneck down to earth kind of girl, um, you know, maybe 35, 40. She's realizing that she's on medications that are impairing her and she wants to get off of them and she wants to embedder her, her life. She wants to climb up out of poverty. And she's recently weaned off of uh, ben benzodiazepines. And so, and she's going in to see her psychiatrist. She's trying to, you know, uh, de-prescribe and the doctor knows that she's doing it. And for whatever reason, she needs his signature to, for low income housing. And she's applying for a job and yada, yada, you know, she's trying real hard to embed herself. So she goes in and she tape records this, you know, she's traumatized and traumatized from all the gaslighting and psychological abuse that she's been through. And so she tape records, she does a video of this and he's unaware that she's videotaping this appointment. And he she goes in and I'm, I'm relaying from memory. I'd have to refer to the previous video I did, I don't know, like a year ago, but I'm just going to try the best I can according to my memory of how this took place. More or less, this is the story. So she goes in, they, they talk, and he tries to force a benzodiazepine on her. And <clears throat> she's he's trying to get her. <clears throat> he starts to write out a her write out a prescription for lorazepam for her, and she doesn't want it. And she's angry, and she's adamant. And she says, "I, you know, I just waned off of this drug. I don't want to be on it. I've told you a hundred times. I am done with this. Like, it impairs me. I'm trying to, and you know, make my life better. And yada yada. And then they start talking and you know, 10, 15 minutes goes by and they're talking about this and that. And then, um, I don't know who brought it up. She br brings it up or whatever. And he says something, she brings it up and says, well, yeah, but you tried to force, force this drug on me again. And he said, no, I didn't. And she said, yes, you did. Like 10, 15 minutes ago, you tried to force this drug on me again. When I've told you, he said, no, I didn't. I never even mentioned it. This is ultimate gaslighting. He tried to write her prescription. He tried to force 
the medication on her. Why would you want to treat people like this? Why would you want to abuse somebody like this? Why would you want to screw screw with somebody's head like this? The, you know, it's just straight up gaslighting and straight up trying to mess with somebody's head. I don't think this woman was extremely mentally ill, but let's say if she was, you know, if she had a significant mental illness, why would you want, you know, you're a physician, you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. This woman is extremely low income and struggling, probably on welfare, struggling. Why would you want to mess with her head and just straight up lie to her and make her question her reality? To someone who's never seen this, experienced this, or witnessed this before, it it is shocking. For someone who is very aware of these scenarios, it's just it's just sickening. A lot of us have seen just straight up lying. Why would you want to mess with somebody who's struggling? and trying to climb up out of poverty and they're trying to make their lives better. Just straight up lying. So I said to her, you know, you ha she had this video on social media. I said, you know, you have to remove this because somebody can easily send this to him. I looked him up. He's, he's local. He's, if someone sent him this video, he would, he would, you know, destroy her chances for housing, the where she wanted to move into or whatever, you know. Uh, this It's such a dangerous situation. I mean, he could, he could do a forced hospitalization if he wanted to make something up. And you know, you know, if, if it was found out that, I mean, For her to hold him accountable like this, people would consider, he would consider her dangerous, I think. Um, to have this evidence of him just straight up lying to a patient and, and messing with her head. Straight up lying and gaslighting. This is psychological abuse of an innocent, vulnerable person, vulnerable, low-income person that's struggling. It's This is straight-up abuse. But you know how they would portray her as dangerous? <clears throat> I've seen this scenario before. They will, <clears throat> if you try to hold them accountable or, or, you know, they will call you dangerous. They would call her dangerous for having done that. For her being able to prove that he did that. Do you know what they would write in her medical records? You know what? This is not extremely rare. This situation. Why would a man that's making hundreds of thousands of dollars. And he's got this patient in front of her and she's on welfare and she's struggling to climb up out of poverty, why would a man like this want to screw with this woman's head? Like not wanting to medicate her, but just straight up lying about his actions, his words, his motives. It is gaslighting. It's, this is psychological abuse. So I wonder, would people behave differently if all of their people in positions of power or all of us, would we behave differently if all of our conversations were tape recorded or videotaped? Would we behave differently if we knew we would 
be held responsible for our words or our actions? Would patients be gaslighted and lied to and You know how dangerous and threatening that is for if any of his hundreds of patients heard or saw that video? You know how damaging that is? But it's the truth. It's the truth. And I wonder what would they, what would be put in her medical records? if that doctor found out. We are paying people hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, you know, I called the healthcare system looking for advocacy And so a healthcare professional called me and we are paying this person thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a year to, to service this province and to, to assist in the quality of care. That's, that's this person's job. So I'm dealing with this person and they are literally making up stuff as we go along, literally making up stuff in the conversation. And they're telling me, well, you know, you can find a family doctor. There are offices that um, they have advocacy there and they have, you know, they'll have a social worker and, you know, a go-between and a liaison between um, patient and um, patient and physician. There, there are clinics in town with advocacy, and I'm like, what? I, I've lived here all my life. Like, please tell me. And this person is literally hoping that I'm not educated enough to figure it figure out that she's lying to me, hoping that. I'm not going to have the wherewithal to push for answers and push with questions. And oh, there she said, oh, there's lots of lots of clinics in town. There's where they have advocacy and, and you know, just uh, I said, no, please, please tell me, give me the name of one clinic where they have that. And I will go make an appointment right now for a meet and greet and try to try to get on with one of the family doctors there because I've been looking for this. For years, for years, please give me the name of one clinic. Well, she was lying. She was straight up lying. This is a person that we pay, I'm guessing close to $100,000 to get on the phone to, to lie to patients about, to just make stuff up. Literally, this woman is just making stuff up, misleading people, gaslighting. The gaslighting, it's just... It, this is psychological abuse of vulnerable patients. We are employing people and training them. There's no way this woman could have been mistaken about this. This is her job to guide people and protect people and 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 work on behalf of the patient when there's there they're having problems within the healthcare system. This is what she is employed for. And this lady is just, this young woman, well, I don't know, 30, 40, is straight up lying to me, making stuff up as we're going along. This is what she does day, eight hours a day. This is her employment to, to fight for patients and, and work on behalf of patients. And she's literally making stuff up, lying to me. And leading me on and stringing me along. And I'm saying, you know what? I'm really sick. I will call a cab tomorrow and go to the clinic. Whatever clinic you tell me has this patient advocacy and patient liaison. I will go there tomorrow. Please tell me of one clinic name. She said, well, eventually she owned up that 
that it was a lie. She was making this up. There are no clinics with with uh, patient advocacy liaison between patient and physician, someone who's going to speak on behalf of and for a patient fight for the health care for a patient. Literally, this person was lying, and I bet you she's getting, I could look up how much she's making a year. I bet you it's just under $100,000, and she gets paid to lie to patients. Why are vulnerable, sick patients being treated this way? We are employing people to treat patients this way.